Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to get started for the next 48 tarot card reading for Aquarius. How are you guys doing? Let's go ahead and see what the energies are coming in for Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides, what are the messages for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Wow, the moon card. Wow, that one is... <laughs> Something is hidden. Something is uncertain. Um, the moon is the energy of, it can be fear when there's uncertainty. It really has to do with things that are hidden in the dark. Things that you don't know what's going on. There's an uncertainty. By the light of the moon, it will come to light. But right now, you might be living in an illusion. There could be deception where something is intentionally hidden. The moon can then create fear. We have the Knight of Wands coming towards you, someone with a lot of passion. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Wow, Ten of Cups. So this makes you really happy. Somebody comes towards you rushing in with a, a lot of fire, so a lot of motivation. Okay, so we have a Four of Swords here in the recent past. We have a three of pentacles and then we have the hangman so i feel like there could be a group of people that you're dealing with several people could be three people and you it's uncertain the situation is uncertain you don't know what's going on hangman means nothing is going to move forward right away but you might have an awakening about a situation you may have some ideas an awakening you see the situation from a different point of view. You get some knowledge. Okay, so what do we have here coming in for Aquarius? Aquarius. Till Saturday the 12th. Nine of coins. Self-sufficiency, independence, earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Wow, around you is a feeling of somebody who feels very betrayed, complete ruin. Somebody around you is really feeling tough, like in a situation where this person feels completely ruined and betrayed. This person, you could be hoping, this is the energy of feeling like you're not getting anything out of the situation. Okay, so we have here a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and then we have here the energy of Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, younger person here. What is the Three of Pentacles about here? Wow, so there's an Ace of Cups. There's a new potential for love, peace, or happiness. And then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, could be marriage. Um, what is the hangman? Why is the hangman right here? So there's a page of pentacles that comes towards you, offering you a pentacle. And then we have the empress, Venus, love and beauty, everything. This is like someone thinks you're everything they ever wanted. What is the queen of pentacles here? Okay, so let's see. Okay. Some of you could perhaps be dealing with a Leo. The Page of Wands could be a Leo. So because the Knight of Wands is in the cross with the Three of Coin, this person could be somewhat non-committal. They could be rushing into a relationship because they just got betrayed as well. 
What is the Page of Wands? Okay, a Page of Cups. So they could be coming towards you, offering you love. Wheel of Fortune is here. Something has changed. What is the Wheel of Fortune? Wow, so Three of Cups and the Death card. Something here has changed in a situation where there were several people involved. Maybe social, something about a social group. Something has changed or ended. It's, it's over. Um... What is the Ace of Cups? Okay, so there is something here about deception, a sneaky person, someone who's trying to get away with something. Lies, deception. Wow, and so there will be a judgment, a reckoning, and the Ace of Swords for that. They may tell you the truth as well. They may come towards you and tell you the truth. Whatever this is, you're actually going to be really happy with this Ten of Cups right here. What's the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups? Why is Ten of Cups here? Ace of Fire. So you're excited. It's new. It's exciting. What is the Ace of Cups? The judgment okay so there's going to be a reckoning there's going to be a judgment day a reckoning something being raised up it could be somebody from your past six of swords somebody returning to you but there's a ten of swords so they're returning when they feel completely ruined what is the queen of pentacles here queen of pentacles seven of coin somebody's waiting thinking about you, earth energy. So what is this seven of pentacles? Page of swords. So I feel like you could be afraid that this person's never going to commit to you and they could be older than you as well, but it looks like they are. What is the um, nine of coin? What is the nine of coin? What is the nine of coin? So some of you could be very, very independent. You do your own thing. You sort of live your life like you're independent of anyone. Hermit card could be a Virgo. Maybe you like to spend time alone. And there's a Temperance or Sagittarius here. Hmm, could be somebody from your past coming back. Okay, so what's coming in for Aquarius? Action, something happens very quickly. And a storm warning. Hmm. Could be, it's about emotions. So somebody will feel emotional. Somebody around you feels very betrayed. They feel ruined. They may rush towards you to tell you their story. Angel of Love is here. And Fifth Chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So some of you could be getting a message from someone and they're going through some kind of thing, traumatic. It's not you. They're coming to you, the thinking man. So you might be really carefully considering what it is this person's going through, and then they're offering you, it looks like they're offering you a relationship. Angel of balance. Okay, so there's balance, there's love. They come rushing in with their story. Okay, guys, this is your reading. Thank you for watching. And